New Orleans is a city that is generally noted for its glamour, bright lights, and stimulating nightlife. But last Sunday, New Orleans became a scene of noise and violence as the Eagles and Saints squared off for some good old-fashioned body contact. The Eagles drew first blood after a Bill Berge interception set up a scoring strike from Roman Gabriel to Harold Carmichael. Finally, in the third quarter, the Saints began to march behind the passes of Archie Manning. New Orleans moved to the Eagle one-yard line where a busted play became a Saint bonus which Manning cashed in for seven. With the contest knotted at seven apiece, Roman Gabriel general the Eagles into Saint territory where a completion to Don Zimmerman and a personal foul penalty combined to put Philadelphia at the New Orleans seven-yard line. New Orleans fans liked the personal foul call about as much as General George Custer enjoyed the Battle of the Little Bighorn. And for over 20 minutes, completely stopped the contest with a continuous chorus of boos. Efforts by players failed to silence the fevered Saints supporters, and finally there was little to do but to wait until the crowd of 64,000 plus simply ran out of breath. By then, the Eagles had lost their momentum, though they almost rang up another six-pointer. Charlie Young's reception went for naught, however, as he was ruled out of bounds before he caught the ball. The Eagles came away with only a field goal for a 10-7 lead, leaving it up to Archie Manning to fashion some sort of a comeback effort for his club. Saints second round draft choice Paul Seal, number 84, gathered in the Manning toss and placed New Orleans only three yards away from a win. Number 34, Jess Phillips, careened into the Eagle end zone with barely a minute remaining to finish Philadelphia in a controversial 14-10 New Orleans victory.